Sunday morning. Um, been out for a walk. Weather's all right, it's pretty decent today. Um, so a few jobs to do today. I'm gonna to look at um, putting some half shafts in the trailer uh, to take with us as spares, where to put them and stuff. Um, I don't I don't wanna get blathered. I've had four or five days just getting blathered cleaning stuff up. So today, best efforts will be made to try and keep a little bit cleaner uh, and uh, still get some jobs done. So I'll show you, I've got a few ideas. Um, let's see how we get on. Right, we've um, got crap on with that. Um, pretty pleased with it. Um, there you go. Oh. So we've uh, made a little bracket type thing here, rack or whatever you want to call it, for some half shafts. So they're all clipped in as well. Oh, I'm at it again with the camera. Go. There you go. So we put them all in um, like like tubes, so they just slide out. And now the the half shafts, if you if you look, hang on a sec. Oh. Right, so hang on a minute. Snow drop or jewel drop, what is it? So look, they don't go to the bottom, you see. So they're protected at the bottom as well, so they're not banging on the, the the splined end as well. So they're in them tubes, so they're sat in them tubes. Clipped onto there, and then we just put a bit of foam padding in the bottom as well. So maybe we're taking too many, I don't know, I might not. Well, hopefully we don't need that many, but um, we've got plenty there. Half a dozen. We might swap, we might take some out, but we've got them in. And then we've got a little bit of space at this end of the might put the, um, the fuel pump or something on there because that's just propped here at the minute back at I didn't screw down in that bag but I might take them out and uh, might clip that on there as well so yep so yeah pleased with that quite a tidy little thing a little, uh, little piece of alley on in just to tidy it up a bit clean up a bit I suppose if we wanted we could slide some at the back of it as well if they were out um so yeah pleased with that decent little thing all right cheers i mentioned you know i've been and got a shale tire um to try i'm just looking here we go uh, there it is Ooh, there you go. so it's a 13 inch but i don't know if we'll get um the stagger using that tire um it's a little look at this a couple of ideas how maybe we could make it a bit taller and then mess about i don't know i don't again it's just all new to us so i don't know if if they're running a smaller tire always on shale just a better tread on inside back um still running three <coughs> excuse me <coughs> three yokies or if on shale they are running three yokies with a yokie on inside back and maybe a shale tire on outside back um and, and sorting it out with like a rim wider rim or something to make it a bit smaller i don't know um there's not a lot in it size wise and stuff so obviously it's a 13 but um might be worth a try and uh We've got it as an option, haven't we? You know what I'm going to say? All us learning. So we'll see. We'll try it maybe. And uh, like I said, we haven't got a shale meeting for a bit anyway. So there's no rush with sorting that out and getting it on a rim. I could get it on a rim and see what stagger is and differences. But with other jobs, we need to get cracked on with really. So saying that, we'll uh, find something else to do. All right. Right, well, morning. It's uh, half five Monday morning. We're back to work today after half term. Deja vu, this. I remember last time we did a, an early one, but gym opens early on a Monday, so I like to get down early and get it done. So, um, just a bit about what we're going to do. Um going to get a bit of a plan together today um, just to see where we're up to with stuff. I know we're getting a bit all over with 
spares and parts and things like that and these other jobs that need doing and so i'm going to get a bit of a plan together today and uh we'll know what we're going to be doing this week and then we'll uh hopefully stick to it so we'll get gym done get to work get a plan done and hopefully get a couple hours in garage then tonight after work so back to it cheers Excuse me. Now then, how are you? Uh, quick update then. So Monday night, um, picked that axle up and one it we're getting copied off. So we've got two axles back now. Um, as you can see, they need it. A lick of paint. So tonight's job. I'm gonna get these. Um, Give them a coat of paint, first coat of paint tonight, and uh, get cracked on. Oh, I'll tell you what else is coming on, I've got a socket. You know like that tool I showed you for getting ends it? A new socket for, um, so we've got two now. So we've got that one and that one. So we've got one we can keep in garage and one to keep in trailer. So, all right, I'm going to uh, mask these ends up and, um, yeah, try and get them strung up somewhere. And we'll give them a, a coat of paint. All right. Right, we've got the uh, first coat on there. Let's give you a gander at that. So we've got, I know it's sort of uh, strung up and I'll have to go and touch it up a bit like, but um, now it's uh, it's got first coat on now. I didn't, I'm not really sure what colour to do it. So I've got some red, I've got some black, I've got some chrome. But we used to have a say when we had scooters. Chrome don't get you home. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so chrome might not get you home. Um, so I think I'll stick with black to be fair. It's easy enough, isn't it? Um, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry. I'm going to put heater on in a bit. Heater's down there. Put heater on. And uh, yeah, take it down, put it on floor then, and then. Um, Give it another coat and then probably leave that one for till for tonight and then give this other one that's down here give that another look of paint because that's had that bracket put on top uh what is it yes. well, uh, so you can just see how that's just had another lip put on top of there just to match um what's on the one on the car so that's three axles now all identical that uh or I'll just go straight on this car with brackets uh, brackets fitted and whatnot for uh, Panhard Road. And then these these bits here. So what, what's that for? Oh, that's the same one. Um, these here, I've just taped them up, but that's where, obviously, so that's bottom. That's inside. And then they just sit over at spring and then clamp up with a clamp. So that's why I've just covered threads on them. And then on uh, where diff bolts on there, I've just uh, covered threads on that as well, just because I've cleaned them all up. And then our tops, can you see? I, don't, I can't see for a light, but I'll show you at the bottom then. 
Uh, there you go. Just a bit of tape on the other end of that spindle on end and all where them locking nuts that we were taking off the other day. Um, so I've still them stubs to do. I, I did start and make a bit of a list today at work um, about what we needed to do. Um, so I'm going to stop with these axles now. Um, still got them three. I'll put them back in, in shed under cover at back. Um, then I've got three here. All can go. I'll put one in trailer. Maybe put a diff in one. We could build one up actually. I could put a diff in one and that mind you. I don't know if they do that with these. It's a bit different with stock sky. You can just bolt it in and bolt it out, but will it become a bit a bit too big and bulky to cart about? I don't know, I'll have to have a think and see, but um yeah, so we need to sort these three out now. So and I want what I want to do is drill them all out proper the ends. So put them big studs in. So that I mean drilling half shafts out. Uh, John Clare reminded me of that after watching the last video. He says, Don't forget that them half shafts won't go over you know, your big studs. So I thought, Yeah, I know. So I've got them to drill out. Um, so half shafts are to drill. These two axles are to drill. New studs to go in uh, stub axles. Um, I have a boatload of them, so I'll, I'll do some extra ones of them. There's, that, there's a load somewhere in a box. So I'll get half a dozen or so of them done and all. And I think then we'll, we'll we'll leave it at that for now. We know where we're up to. That's to be fair, probably a couple of nights work at this rate. Um a job to do with trailer, I want a waterproof underneath the trailer and stuff. I'm waiting for that paint to come. Uh and stuff, so that's been rubbed down. Um yeah, then there's it back onto uh, steering racks, cleaning, finish cleaning them up uh, and stuff. So, right, I'll off to wait for this to dry. Might have a brew uh, whilst we're waiting. So, I'll do that, get it down, get it painted, get next one painted, and then uh, see where we're up to. See you in a bit. So, just put another coat on, and they're coming on there. You can see, looking nice and shiny. Can't see you guys. Oh, nice over there. I mean, well, you get just anyway, don't you? It's just reacting a bit at that end. I have to uh, rub it down a bit. I don't know if it's picked something up whilst it's been out in brackets or a lot, but I reckon to. Uh, Degrease that, but anyway, we'll see. You see how it dries, and then uh, yeah, we'll leave them now till tomorrow. Um, like I say, you can end up chasing the job about. So um, yeah, looking well. Uh, might paint one a different colour. I need to go inside do it quick. So all right, see you in a bit. I um I tell you what we're gonna ask someone. Well, I was gonna ask, it, but like I say, I'm no engineer. I'm not, I'm not no. But um, I'm after, right? You see these wishbones. So and obviously you got an insert in that end. But you know this material. It's not tube as such, but it looks like it's been in a roller or somewhere. But I, I don't think it has. I don't know. But I was wondering. Can you see how it's like shaped like that? I don't know. Obviously that will. I guess that's to get bend, I don't know, but if if anyone knows how they make these, or if that's material, or if it's made, or I don't know, I, I, get, I don't know, is it tube that's flattened, or, you know, or is it, I don't know, but I've got, um, I do have a, when I got car, let's see if you can see it there, can you see that, that jig, so, well, it fits in. So I do have a jig for making them, but I don't know what material it is. So if you know, will you send us a message? 
um, and well, just give us a bit of advice or, or as options because um, I've only got that one uh, spare wishbone and I won't mind at least a pair so yeah so if you can help us just send us a message and let us know or if you have any ideas or out like that much appreciated top banana cheers several laps ago, right? We both said it. The, the, the way that the pushes were coming, it was just a matter of, of time before this happened. And, and with the energy and everything that, that there is right now, it's just too much for the cars to handle to go straight. And that was a classic example of just getting shoved a little bit too hard and getting out of shape and it's not time to lift. There's Denny Hamill. hits are coming from behind the car and that's the, those are the worst hits in this car as you're getting rear-ended and you can see his head flag forward those are actually coming from the back of the car some of them are from the front but the first the first couple oh. that one got his wrist yeah he's that one got his wrist grab his hand yeah he, that's tight week for ryan blaney thursday night
quick they want to get their hands off the wheels with these rack and pinion steerings, Kevin. Tell us how much stronger that is than what it used to be. Yeah, and that's the reason that you see a lot more of these guys take their hands off the wheel because it, the rack will just jerk your hands out and if your thumbs are in there, it'll break them. We saw Ryan Blaney grab his wrist there. Eric Jones, he held onto the wheel, but he holds the wheel with his thumbs up on top of the wheel. A lot of guys do not. They hold their thumb around the wheel and the spokes will literally rip your, rip your thumbs off and break them. Yeah, I think it was his wrist. It could have been his thumb. I mean, to your point, it usually is. That's why it hooks your wrist. Yeah, and a lot of times when that wheel is spinning around like that, it sometimes it'll hurt your shoulder a little bit too as the wheel's coming the opposite way. But you'll see it. Watch his right hand. See his right hand right here. 